Sword Art Online is interesting. While it feels like I'm tired of it now, I also still find myself buying tickets to go see the new movies as soon as I can. Stockholm Syndrome? Perhaps. But I have an excuse this time. I was promised great things with SAO Progressive. See, about a year ago, I went on complaining about SAO in a pretty specific way, where I wasn't really complaining about its meh writing and characters and... Uh, but more so its lack of focus on its video game premise and its frequent progression skips. Just so we could quickly get to the parts where Kirito goes all powerful gamer. Which in turn, also ended up bringing a whole new style of shitty generic isekai power fantasies that now plague the industry. And instead of correcting this mistake, SAO fucked off to Fairyland! Well, it looks like Reki Kawahara actually atoned for his sins at one point and started a remake of SAO's first arc called Progressive. And according to some of you guys, this is actually the SAO we've been wanting. Is this true? Let's get into it. Also, no, I'm not reading the Progressive novel. Reading the original was more than enough for me and, uh, no one's gonna read it anyway. And apparently the manga sucks. Movie only! Now one of the biggest improvements right off the bat is the main character perspective being shifted to Asuna instead of Kirito this time. Not cause I think she's that interesting of a character, but for the fact she's going to all this as a newbie. It makes it feel more grounded going into it, especially when going through the how to play segment. Instead of watching Mr. Beater speed running through it all, Asuna knows nothing about RPGs and she is scared. I mean, there are dangerous and weird sweaty gamers around her, and she's trapped in a death game. So she starts getting into learning the mechanics of the game, learning the basics from the ground up. Stuff like item drops, equipment, and of course just how to fight enemies to level up. And in turn, showing her overall grind in a way that feels more progressive. And I especially like that it went into detail with mechanics like the traps the game lays for players in order to kill them, which is pretty damn important in this type of game. Ain't that right, Sachi? <laughs> In general, a lot of game elements got briefly skimmed over in the original series, so I'm happy to see them have a bit more focus now. Cause, after all, this takes place in a fucking video game, right? Though I do wish they incorporated showing more abilities, skills, and stat stuff, but I understand that might just be some nerd shit. Plus, I feel like they might go into that later, as it feels like SAO is actually taking its time this time. Yeah, the pacing is also improved here. Instead of just jumping to a floor boss right away, it actually has encounters with multiple different enemies and scenarios in the world before that, which obviously feels more natural. The original felt too disjointed and was time skipping all over the place. Half the time to parts of the adventure that weren't even that interesting. Like, what's the point then? Instead of this shit, I would have rather them skip to the part where we watch Kirito learn how to full dive jerk off. Speaking of which, you might be wondering, where is our beater boy this time? Well, he's more of the same OP fellow we know of, but this time he was introduced as more of a mentor character, which usually works better than him being the actual main protagonist. Though it's nice they gave him a little more character here, as when Asuna first meets him, he's introduced as what he would actually be, a shy, awkward nerd who can't talk to whammon. He just like me, he just like me for real. So with all this being said, sounds like the SAO you wanted, right? You might be inclined to go watch the movie, if that's even possible right now. But I want to go over some issues I had with it too. Biggest complaint being that they decided to make this into a movie instead of its own TV series. Progressive is set up to be a slower paced grand adventure, and while I like that it's doing this, it also feels like by the time it gets going, it's already over and now you have to wait another year for the next part. The movie had good animation and spectacle to it, but it wasn't really that much better than the TV series. So why did the studio, A1 Pictures, make this into a movie? Okay, well, I know why. Fuck you! Aside from that, while I like the movie overall, you should probably know I went into this with pretty low expectations. So while it met the minimum of stuff I wanted compared to the original, doesn't mean it will be good for everyone. Why I say this is because I went to see it with a few friends, two of which were also like me and had seen SAO before, and we liked this movie. But the other two that came with us that hadn't seen any SAO before, either didn't like it, or straight up fell asleep. So, uh, do with that information what you will. Might not be the best place to start, but there's really also no other good place to start. Though I'll admit, laughing at dumb shit like the legendary beater scene returning was also a decent chunk of the enjoyment. Yeah, SAO's writing has never been that great, but the fact they kept this scene the exact same kinda gives you an indication that this aspect probably hasn't improved much, among some other parts of the movie, so keep that in mind as well. Well, at the very least, it has one big improvement. No distasteful sexual assaults! Woo! Reki managed to hold himself back. I'm so proud of my boy. He's grown so much. Now let's see if he keeps that up for the next 99 floors. Yeah, apparently Progressive not only plans to cover all 100 floors of the game, but looks like it's covering each floor one movie at a time, which 
Honestly, I don't know how that's gonna work. 99 more movies, I guess? Well, better than skipping a bunch of floors again at least, right? Oh god fucking damn it. Anyway, overall, decent movie, but enough of that. Now it's the year 2022, which means Sword Art Online has finally been released and I can play it myself. We got no beaters, no time skips, and certainly no pussy. It's gaming time. Holy shit, it's just like SAO, that's crazy! Oh, that's... Oh, that's... Oh, that's... What the fuck is that thing? Oh, what the fuck? Alright, time to grind, folks! <laughs> Wait, why, why aren't they taking any damage? Hey! Hey, it's bugged! The game is bugged! No, stop! No! What the hell?